This is one of my favorite places here in Northern Cyprus. One of the main attractions is the visiting card of Gurney, which is a must see for tourists. Here is an extremely peaceful Instagram spot. On the one hand, it is a contemporary port that is presently operational. In fact, this cathedral is the place that I arrived here for. Where have we arrived at? This is an actual ghost town. I have goosebumps. Today, we will not have a discussion with you about real estate, neither in Northern Cyprus nor in Mersin. I will not disclose to you the method of investing, the strategy for growing your capital. We won't discuss the fact that everybody is departing from Northern Cyprus or arriving in Northern Cyprus. Today, we will have a conversation about the things that are visible in this particular place. And the most important thing is that Cyprus is extremely beautiful and there are numerous attractions here. So today this video will be about that. And of course, I will attach all the locations of these beautiful places. If you are interested in what Northern Cyprus is renowned for, keep reading and give likes. And we reached the initial location that I truly desire to introduce you to. This is one of my preferred places here in Northern Cyprus. This specific location is referred to as Belopoisk Abbey. It used to be a monastery exclusively for men. This dates back to the 8th century. The true events that occurred here remain a mystery. There is limited info about this place. However, I think history buffs will find it intriguing. You can also write in the comments if you have any info about this place and if you are familiar with it at all. Personally, I don't really like various antiquities, but this place, exactly this one, somehow caught my attention and piqued my interest. It is truly stunningly beautiful in this place. A breathtaking view of Gurn is unfolding before us. By the way, it is just 16 minutes up the mountain at a distance of 6 kilometers. Here you can also breathe the fresh mountain air and capture beautiful photos. This place is, of course, the main attraction of Northern Cyprus, one of the attractions, and it is definitely worth a visit. And we continue to go further to introduce you to not just one incredible and breathtaking place. Hello, puppies, they are adorable. One of the main draws is the visiting card, a symbol that showcases the beauty and charm of the city of Gurna. This is Gurna Wheel or Kiranaiski Castle otherwise. Kiranaiski Castle is located on the eastern part of the old harbor of Kirene. The castle was constructed by the Venetians on the Crusaders' fortifications. Within the fortress walls, there is a 12th century chapel and a museum displaying the remains of a 4th century BC Kirinian ship. Another cool place that I would like to recommend to you is the English village of Carmi. In this village, it is incredibly fascinating to take leisurely walks and admire the breathtaking sights. There are a plethora of magnificent Greek churches and an abundance of captivating houses, offering countless opportunities for capturing stunning and visually appealing photographs. Here is a very quiet Instagram account. We actually searched for this place for a long time. The first few times we came, we couldn't find him because we didn't know much about him. But today we had a good walk, saw a lot, took a lot of photos, and of course, made a review for you. And we are going to the next landmark. We arrived in the city of Famagusta, which combines modern buildings and historical heritage. Today I will tell you about the main attractions of Famagusta, but I will not show everything so that you can come and enjoy this beauty yourself. Famagusta is one of the oldest cities that, despite numerous invasions by conquerors, has managed to preserve the spirit of antiquity. On its sparsely populated streets, you can find buildings of unique historical significance and beauty. 
Most of them are concentrated in the area of the old city, where churches and ancient coastal forts still stand. What I would recommend you to visit is the Castle of Othello. On one hand, it is a modern port that is currently functioning, and on the other hand, it offers beautiful green parks and wonderful architecture that you can admire and appreciate during your visit. The main attraction is situated in the center of Famagusta. This is St. Nicholas Cathedral. Now it is the Lala Mustafa Pasha Mosque. On the left side of the entrance to the mosque, there is a huge fig tree that remembers all the events perfectly. It was planted at the cathedral during the laying of the first stones, and now he is over 700 years old. In fact, this cathedral is the place that I came here for. I wanted to see him with my own eyes because I had seen him in photos, but now I have seen him in person and I have a lot of impressions. Here is such a landmark, we will attach the location specifically so that you don't get lost where to go. Here you simply walk and immerse yourself in history. It's very quiet, calm, and there's beauty everywhere. So enjoy, we do it for you. Where have we arrived at? This is an authentic ghost town. I have goosebumps. It's incredibly creepy. Just we walk, stroll. We even took bicycles to go around more and capture more images for you. But I'm really scared. One of the hotels in Orosh was put into operation just three days before the city was abandoned by its residents. Some hotel complexes in Orosh are still legally owned by citizens from 20 countries around the world. On July 20th, 1974, the Turkish army invaded Cyprus in response to a political coup in the country. And on August 15th of the same year, the Turkish forces occupied the city of Famagusta. As a result of these actions, the country was divided into two parts, Greek and Turkish. Greeks residing in Varosha were instructed to leave the city within 24 hours, taking only essential belongings. And since then, returning to the neighborhood has been prohibited by law. Friends, I'm unsure of the impressions I have. It's actually quite exciting, you know. I have never been to ghost towns, and I'm even scared to imagine what was happening here in those years when people were simply running away from here. Based on the houses, it is clearly evident that people simply left and abandoned this area, just as it is without any changes. The majority of the area, of course, is closed to tourists. He used to be completely closed in principle. So now they have opened literally a small piece where you can take a look. I would never wish anyone to experience such a thing, of course. This is a very scary tragedy and I have only such emotions. But the place actually, if you are a tourist, if you came to get acquainted with Cyprus, then this is really a place to visit. I was extremely thrilled by the impressions that I even forgot to share the information with you. The city is open until 1930, no admission fee. However, the city is large, so you can either take a scooter or a bicycle for transportation. But the quality of the bicycles, I must say, is so-so. We checked them. Today, we informed you about the best locations in Northern Cyprus. However, this obviously is far from being comprehensive. Here you can still ride, spend hours and search for beautiful places. There are numerous of them and it is indeed true. We just don't have much time, we're not on vacation and we couldn't manage to visit everything. But I would like to tell you this, wherever you go, whether it is Northern Cyprus or Turkey, please travel, please travel. Do not stay in the hotel. Utilize a car, embark on journeys to various destinations. In the absence of the chance to drive, opt for group or individual excursions, but ensure you continue to explore and travel. The world, it's incredibly beautiful and very, very astonishing. You were with Anastasia, goodbye.